All right, and you guys ever really wondered how to uh, convert your DVD movies into something you can play on your iPod or even just put on your computer? I'll show you guys how to do that right now. And I'll use it using one of my favorite programs, DVD Decryptor. Now the first step we gotta do is we gotta put in a movie. And I'm putting in a concert DVD to show you guys a few more tricks that you can do. So we just load it up and wait a minute. DVD Decrypt will read it and recognize it and show you what we do. Okay, so DVD Decryptor knows this is a DVD. So what we want to do is we want to go to IFO. And what this does is this will uh, allow us to take either the whole movie. Um, we can do that just by selecting every single chapter. It will come out as one entire movie. Or because this is a concert, we can do something like only get one chapter or one performance, one song. I'm just going to select one song. If you want to do this for the whole movie, you have every single chapter selected. I'm just going to do chapter 5. I'm not sure what song this is. I have not watched this DVD in a while. And then we go to stream processing and we want to enable that. Um, As you can see, there's one video track right here and there's two audio tracks. Um, This one's Dolby Digital, six channel, and this one's just a two channel stereo. Probably go for the better one, so get rid of that. Um, if there's a, if this is an actual movie, then there might be subtitles and things like that in here. You'd want to get rid of them. So as soon as we do that, we just pick a spot where we want to save it. I'll save it to my desktop. It's easier that way for me. And then we just hit DVD and decode it. Now, um, what this does is this extracts what is like a DVD file known as an IFO. Um, this contains the movie and stuff, and. Uh, this is done. Um, if you have a program called VLC or any other DVD playing program, not Windows Movie Maker or uh, Media Player, as far as I know, um, you can actually watch it and play it. However, this file will probably be um, almost a almost a gig, so it's still going to be quite large and fairly useless. So what we got to do is we got to get a uh, program to convert it. Now, there's a few you can do. If you're wanting to do put this on, say, your PSP or your iPod, um, I would get a program called 3GP Converter. It's fast, it works very efficiently, and uh, and it's just a really great program if you're using your iPod or if you're using your PSP. If you wanted to put this on your um, like computer, if you want to save it as an MPEG or an AVI, uh, get a program called Total Video Converter. It's pretty cheap. It's only 20 bucks, I think. And there's a seven-day trial, I'm pretty sure. So if you just wanted to do whatever with it, well, I'll show you that we can play this with VLC. Once this loads up. This song is called All These Things I Hate. So you can see that we still got the video going. But it is 200 megabytes, which is still fairly large. And uh, your PSP or your iPod will not play it. So find 3GP Converter. Find, uh, I'll put it on my iPod. There's MP4 for PSP, MP4 for iPod. I like an iPod because that's what I use. And hit apply. So now all we do is we drop and drag. This will take a few minutes. But, uh, this will save wherever you, like, save the, uh, the DVD file. And it'll come out much smaller and will actually work on your iPod same thing works if you want to do like a whole movie like I said before you just do a couple more steps I'm just showing you with one quick song from one of my DVDs
and once that's done you just upload it to YouTube if you wish put it on your PSP or iPod or enjoy it on your computer